Hey guys, Jeff here, and welcome back to Soma. Okay, so we blew up the domed roof of this building, which was the comm center once upon a time before we killed it. And uh, now we seem, for whatever reason, to be inside a underwater suit, and now we're on the ocean floor. Um, no idea how that happened. But, uh, you know, such is, such is mystery. We find these things out eventually. Okay, so. Oh, I bet this is that door that was sealed on the other side. Ah, cool. All right. Probably a good thing that it didn't open. Interesting. So this is really cool. A uh, little bit scary at the same time. Can I get up here? No. Of course I can. Wow. Yeah, the ocean is huge and terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. I hope there's not monsters out here. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, I have to find a shuttle. That's what I'm... That's what I'm going for. Zeppelin transport. Okay, what do we have over here? Hello, fishies! Another door. Is this an airlock? Do they open? Do they work? No. Okay. Must be part of the whole thing being sealed and shut down. They've really, really improved the HPL engine. It used to not be able to handle large outdoor environments like that, um, like this, but uh, apparently now it can. So that's exciting. I wonder what that's going to mean for the custom story or, or modding community for, for this, because Amnesia had a huge, huge number of custom stories created by fans of the, of the game. And, uh... I like the plants. They're all so cool. And, uh... It looks like when you start... You haven't seen it because uh, I start the game... Ooh, I don't know what that is. I start the game kind of mid-progress. But you, um... Before you start the game, you get prompted to either play the game or load a mod. So I think there's some pretty cool, interesting stuff that's going to come down the pipe using this engine, um, which uh, would will be awesome and cool and terrifying just like Amnesia was, which makes me so excited. Okay. So I'm, I'm just having a look around here because the environment is just so lush. Okay, so this is a... This is where we get our Zeppelin? What the hell is a Zeppelin transport? Some kind of floating transportation system? But you can't... I guess that would have... Called it or something? This is our landing zone. Okay, so I was going the right direction. If you're not already, I highly recommend um, watching this gameplay with a nice pair of headphones because there's some really great binaural audio that's happening. I can tell in the um, inside the suit here, like when you when he breathes, uh, when he makes any kind of movements um, or mouth sounds, they're happening in both ears simultaneously. Um, I did just a little bit of reading about the sound work, the sound design, uh, and, and it sounds like the, they had a whole team of sound designers and they actually did real fully and, and all the, um, recordings and stuff that you hear are actually processed through real speakers and then re-recorded, um, which is a really 
uh, classic technique that they use for film rather than doing it all in post-processing um, in digitally, which is what kind of the easier and cheaper way to, to do things is. What what they did was they actually took microphones and they stuck them inside of old speakers playing back stuff that was recorded to get that tinny, you know, dissonant kind of sound, which is awesome. Very cool. I mean, that's so labor intensive, but but it the fidelity that you get from that is unlike anything that you get from plugins inside of a, a an audio mixer. Come in, Theta. You better answer me, Strasky. Come on! Amy, where, where are you? The fields. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe. We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, all right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. I'm rooting for you. Okay, she's great. I like her. Um, I think we've been hearing Amy this whole time, the, the, the female voice. She's She's got a real good, badass kind of sensibility to her voice. The that last person, Strasky, not so sure about that voice actor. But, I don't know, we'll see if we encounter more from him. Maybe it gets better. Oh man, this is immense. I'm getting nervous. Things seem to be getting quieter. Um, I also wanted to, to mention the composer. His name is uh, Miko Tarmia, I think is his name. Um, he's got a really cool setup. I, I, I had a look at the blog. There's a great developer blog all about Soma. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know what that is. Is it coming this way? Should I avoid it? Oh, it's asking for structure gel. I don't know. Oh boy. I don't know what structure gel is, but... But the machines seem to like it. What? Ooh. Do I go this way? Where are you going? Should I try to talk to it? Or is it going to try to kill me? Glitching. Everyone's just gone. Glitching makes me nervous. Oh, hello, little crabby. What? I don't like the sound of blood. Don't let blood out. Don't let it out of me. Oh no. Am I getting myself backed into a corner? What is this thing? Oh, it's a light. It's not a plant at all. Silly. Anyways, yeah, so uh, Miko Tarmia, I believe is, is how you pronounce it. Um, his setup is amazing. They've got this great development blog all about how they did things like the sound design and stuff. And uh, he's got these amazing analog synthesizers. And What's going on? Shit. They're all linked together. The black blood. The black blood? What? Is that the stuff that ooze? Just me. You know what? I'm gonna not talk to him. I don't want to get chased. Um. Yeah, and it's crazy. He's. I mean, it's everything's connected with all these wires and like it's really hardcore stuff. 
He, uh, he's, a, he's got this amazing device that's like a flute that you can blow into to get these, the, like, ethereal sounds and everything. Like, like what you're hearing right now. Epsilon B. Okay, is this the station? What's this? What are you? Aw, are you a cute little thing or are you gonna kill me? Hi! Oh, you're so cute! You're green, and the other guy is red. I'm gonna say green is good? Is green good? Aw, where are you going? Just cruising around, eh? All right. You know, and, and uh, I keep getting back to the music, but I, I really like the music. It's minimalist, but it's also very complicated, too, um, if you know how this stuff is made. And, uh, and I have a lot of respect for the intense amount of work that these guys have put into every aspect of this game. Uh, the sound design itself is done like they did so much of it. I'm glitching again. Uh, in a Foley studio? With, um... Oh god, like with all kinds of- you know, you know if you've ever watched kind of... How, uh, films are made. And how they do the Foley, which is all like the- the sound effects. You know, they'll- they'll have like a table and they'll record like... People dropping chains on different- Oh, there's another one of those things. Ooh, it seems to be having some issues. We're just gonna... Are you... Are you gonna... Are you gonna give away my position? Because you you can fuck right off if that's the case. And, uh... Yeah, so it's cool. And then they'll, you know, they'll drop things on different textures. And they'll play... They'll crinkle fabric and plastic and stuff. And bang metal pots together and record it all. And, and that forms the basis of a lot of the sound effects that you hear in movies and in this case the video game and that's hardcore stuff man like so so labor intensive but i the, at the same time it ends up creating this incredible soundscape i don't know where i'm going um that is so unique you know and Oh, I just went in the circle. And they really deserve all the recognition and kudos. Uh, if I remember correctly, I've got it written down here. The uh, audio director is Samuel Justice, and there was a team of six sound designers who worked on all the different aspects of sound design and Foley. And, um, and they recorded all in microphone and then brought it into the game engine. Okay, I'm geeking out way too much about the sound design. You're probably bored out of your trees. Sorry about that, guys. But for me, as a guy who does sound design and... Um, and music, I have to, have to recognize when really good work is being done by talented artists. And uh, if you would prefer me to just run around screaming, uh, you know, there's time for that, too. But I believe that artists should recognize the hard work of other artists. Okay. Where am I? Oh, God. You, you're, I really shouldn't have freed you at all. Because I feel like you just keep giving away my position. Oh no! No no! Here. Yeah. Okay. Oh god, it's coming back. Oh, it looks evil. Oh shit, it's coming right here. Would you go away? You make everything so much harder. Oh. Do I... I'm assuming I have to go this direction. You're so cute! You're cute, and you're... You're putting me in harm's way. 
I'm gonna stay mad at you. Okay, where are you going? This makes things interesting, actually, now that I think about it, because we're in the open ocean, and these... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. These monster... Or, well, we'll call them monsters, because... You know. They seem to be evil, but they're not actually monsters. They're robots. But these robots... They, they don't just patrol hallways and stuff, like... They did in Amnesia. They're actually... They can go up. They can go down. They can change direction at will. Would you go away? Oh, you're... Oh, there's so much light on me right now. Where is it? Oh, it's coming this way. Oh. Which, uh, that makes things really dynamic and interesting. Compared to running down hallways! Oh, God. Okay. Alright. Okay. Here we go! What is that thing? What? What are you? Cool. Did we make it? I think we made it. Shuttle station, Upsilon B. Hello? <gasps> oh, thanks, buddy! I knew I freed you for a reason. Aw. I'm gonna call you... Hermie. You look like a Hermie. Hermie. Hello, Hermie. Thank you. Okay, am I am I good now? Thanks, little guy. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Ah! Oh, okay. All right, take care, Hermie. Appreciate it. Hi. Come on. Okay. All right. Swipe Omni Tool. Oh, you have to actually click the mouse. Okay. Ah! What? Oh, how'd you get inside? Oh. Oh, Hermie. <laughs> I think that's a minor glitch. And he's gone. <laughs> Let's hope the shuttle still work. Uh, we'll pretend that didn't happen. Oh man, it's dark. Oh, okay. I, where did I get a flashlight? Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, I like it. Finally, I have a flashlight in this deep sea diving suit that I seem to have acquired out of thin air. Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie, I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you! Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Hmm. Now the question is... Okay, so we have like a transit system. Very cool. The question is, did Amy fix it? Looks like her helmet. Hmm. Did she actually fix it? What, oh, what are you? Here we go. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh god! Get it! Ah! Jesus Christ! What the hell? You! Oh, you! Well, I mean. 
What do you expect? You're sticking your finger in alien things. Alright, so we have a switch. Let's try what this is. Switch. Insufficient power. So we have to find a way to Hello? Hello? We have to find a way to... Ah. Power things on, I guess. This won't open. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Seven Phillips, ten flatheads, two. Ah, oh, what are those? Seven fuses? Oh, fuses, probably. Fifty nuts. Am I gonna have to collect all this stuff? Who's this handsome gentleman? Alright. What is this? Tablet? Manifest. Manifest. Shuttle beat. Routine, departure date. Other hazard report, other helper kit, auto inflator. Okay. Impact event. Pay those two memo, impact event. On this morning of January 12th at 5.13 in the morning, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Oh my god. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Oh my god. Cool. Well, I mean, it sucks for them. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the wa weather and communications station located on surface platform Omega, unmanned which is under the circumstances a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K4 Corian. Corian. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way, along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence. Big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Oh, that's sad. Wow, so... It really is the apocalypse. Why are there flies everywhere? I don't like this. I don't like... I don't like this. I've got this really bad feeling about Amy not... Not being alive. So yeah, wow, a comet hit Earth and everything above the water has been destroyed or disintegrated. We're all that's left of humanity. Wait a minute. Comet. Space. Robots. Cancerous growth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Ooh, more of the black blood. Look at that goop. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. 
This is cool, man. Wait a minute. Okay, we have a light. This is a <gasps> Is that Amy? Oh man. Oh, is that Amy? Hey, are you? Don't hurt me. What? Oh man, what is going on? Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. <gasps> What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. It is Amy. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Harland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Oh, man. Wow, so it really... Uh, you're following me with your eyes and that's creeping me out! I mean, I feel very, really bad for you. Don't, don't get me wrong. So whatever this organism is, it really, really needs to be connected to all kinds of energy sources. So it'll be the electrical or other organisms, I guess. Uh, Amy? Amy? I've got this really bad feeling because there's really nothing else going on here and I have to turn the power back on. I have this bad feeling I'm going to have to do this. No. Shit. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Oh, Amy. Yeah, see... Safety systems are offline. Is this enough? Is this enough? Can I get back? Oh, you are... Oh, your eyes! <laughs> Alright, let's see if we have enough to get back without killing her. I really don't want to kill Amy. I mean... Although, what kind of life is she living? I don't know. So many moral questions. So many questions. I'm so confused. Why are you doing this to me, game? Oh! Jesus Christ. Ah. Okay, is this enough? Do I have enough to... only. What does that mean? Oh, do I... Do I... Is she suffering? Do I end her life? I don't know what to do. Okay, pipes, great, wonderful. Ah, uh, what do I do? Ah, uh, she doesn't want to die. Hmm, decisions. She's gonna be stuck there forever, though. Ah, uh, I. I'm gonna go back. I have a feeling I have to euthanize Amy. Or maybe I don't have to, but maybe I should choose to? This is... This is really... This is a really tough call. If you're... I mean, to me, this is a whole other kind of horror right here. Oh, Amy. I'm sorry. I... I think I'm doing the right thing. Oh, fuck. I, 
I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I did power the safety systems, so that's good. Maybe the game... Uh, maybe the game wouldn't have let me continue forward until I did that. Maybe I... Maybe I had no choice? I don't know. I don't know. But, like I was saying, this is a whole other kind of horror to me. This is a... This is a game where you actually have to make really hard choices about ending the lives of sentient beings that really aren't doing any harm, you know? Power on. Oh, power on. Uh, and it was saying emergency only before. Which probably means this shuttle wouldn't have worked. So I think we've had probably no choice, but we'll, I guess we'll never know. Ooh, man. Okay. Lights. And... Go. Oh, wow. Transit map. Thermal manufacturing, but... Uh, uh, Upsilon A. We're on... Okay, so we can't get to Upsilon A. We're at Upsilon B. Do we... Okay, so there's Lambda... Delta, Theta, Omicron, Tau, Phi. I guess Lambda's... Lambda is really the only place to go. So let's go there. Here we go! So, Pathos 2 is a, it's like a railgun that shoots satellites into orbit or into space, maybe even deep space. Track obstructed! Oh shit! Oh, oh that's shit. not good! Yeah, thanks, emergency brakes. You deployed right on time! Oh, man. Wow. Things ain't good. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just about out of time, so I think we're gonna end it here. Um... Wow. Things are getting really intense. Very interesting. Ah, I can't wait to find out more. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you get the chance, if you'd like to, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to uh, taking this little journey a little further in the next part. All right, guys. Take it easy. Cheers. Cheers.